Hey everyone, Techni here with the headset review, and we have an awesome one today. The headset we have is the Steel Series Arctics Pro without the game DAC, right? No game DAC here, just the headset. Now, first, what I'd like to do is bring you in and show them to you, and then we'll start talking about them. Hey, I'll be right back with you. So now I know there's probably two main questions on everybody's mind right now. Number one, why the heck didn't I get the DAC? And number two, should you get these or the threes, fives, or sevens? Now I did review the threes and the fives, the wired versions, and they're fantastic headsets by the way. I'll leave the links to those videos right down in the description there. But anyways, I wanna show and talk a little bit about this headset before we get into those two questions. So number one, as always, comfort, right? And these guys honestly nail it. They almost feel exactly like the threes and fives. Um, the the uh, ear cups here feel a little more bouncy. Now, as you can see right here, they use the exact same material. They have that little uh, soft uh, mesh sports material, and inside you have that little uh, pleather lining to prevent some uh, sound bleed. So incredibly cozy, incredibly soft. Again, they feel like they have a little more bounce compared to the fives. I don't know, maybe it's just this one I got, but again, they feel just a squeeze different. Now, since I just said a squeeze difference, they are a little bit tighter than the threes and fives. Now, I don't know if that's because of the metal frame and stuff, but again, they get a little tight and I catch myself having to adjust them every now and then. When I put the threes and fives on, I mean, I was rosy cozy, you know what I mean? I could seriously take a snooze in them guys. But these guys, every now and then I kind of catch myself adjust them. It's not uncomfortable by any means, but again, you can tell it is a little tighter. Now, as I talked about that metal frame right there, as you can see, the top all right here is metal and then all the way down here to these little hooks holding on the ear cups here. Now it's kind of weird because you got the metal up here on the headband and then it goes into plastic and then it goes into metal, which is kind of weird because isn't that like the main pressure point, like right where this one plastic piece is? Let me see if you guys can catch that right there. So again, we got metal, plastic, metal. Now will that give over time? I don't know. I don't I don't think so. I mean, like I said, you got plenty of give right here. Again, look, you can stretch these suckers out and nothing's happening. I mean, I'm pretty gentle with my stuff anyways. Um, you got two screws in here holding it, and it feels like pretty durable plastic. In my opinion, they should have just went metal to metal, but now they do feel incredibly durable. I mean, big time. You can really tell the difference in weight compared to these guys in the threes and the fives. Now, it's not like this massive amount. Like when you put it on your head, you're like, ah, let me get these things off, you know? But you can definitely tell the weight difference. Again, when you put them on your head since you're resting on this band right here, they feel the exact same. They feel incredibly light on your head. You don't have all that pressure, you know? But uh, again, in the hand, straight taking them right out of the box, you can tell, wow. These things are built like tanks. The headband is also different. The other ones you used to adjust on the sides. This guy is pretty much one. You peel it off here and you can adjust right up there. And again, I mean, this can slide wherever you want. And it's really cool online. They have interchangeable ones. You can buy ones with little designs. I think they only have like three or four on there maybe. And then also talking about changing uh, the headband, you can also change the ear cups, which is really cool. As you can see, we just took that off right there. And then you have, it looks pretty cool right there with that little design minus the little uh, dotted holes in there. I don't know if you guys can catch it on camera. There you go. The design's pretty cool minus the little dots in where the RGB is. But again, you can buy replacements of these. What I'm honestly thinking about is, um, I don't know where you can go do this stuff, but maybe get like an airbrush, you know, get my own little thing airbrushed and uh, they just attach magnetic right there. So really cool little touch. I really like that. Now on your left ear cup, as you can see right here, you have your volume knob and your mute button. Do you notice how big those are? Now look how big that mute button is right there. 
in the volume knob. I mean, they are gigantic, right? Much bigger than the threes and fives. I mean, the, the mute button on those guys was pretty tiny, you know what I mean? You're not gonna misplace this thing. When it's back there, you know you're gonna hit it. It's same with the uh, the volume wheel right there. Now, also on the left ear cup over here, you can see that's where the wire attaches. That port right next to it over here is a share port. So if you're playing a game with someone, listening to some music or whatnot, they can just plug their headphones right into yours. Now, the pros here also come with this little uh, chat knob here. Now, what you can do is turn it to chat or to your game again I don't really use the chat feature that much so I kind of use it as just like again a quick volume knob and it's really nice it has a nice rubber grip right on the bottom again the exact same thing that comes with the fives but again I kind of use it just as a quick volume knob you know keep it cranked on a PC and whatnot and then on a the headset and I just adjust this as far as chat to turn it lower you know so just nice little shortcut all right so now the RGB and the mic as you can see you have the little RGB ring right around her as you saw before when we took the little uh, cap off the side you can see it there now when you keep the cap off and you let the RGB run like that it doesn't look as crisp because it kind of fades when you go in so honestly when you put the cap on it looks a lot better because you get all the uh, bright vibrant color right around that ring right there and there's so many options to change which we're about to go look at the software once we do this mic test coming up here shortly but again you do have the RGB on each air cup right there they do work on PS4 as well I believe you just got to sync it through the PC first if you go straight to the PS4 you're not gonna be able to adjust anything but when you adjust it on your PC through the SteelSeries software, it will carry over to your PlayStation. Like for example, I have mine on static red and I plugged it into the PlayStation and that's exactly how it came up. Now one other cool thing about RGB, uh, again, same as the fives, I don't keep bringing them up, right? But uh, anyways, as you can see the little uh, red light on the mic right here, that's when it's muted. So now we are not muted, right? And the light goes off, the mic is active and now we are muted right there and the cool thing about this headset is you can change that uh, mic mute button to whatever color you want you want a purple or or green or whatever you can change that right along with the ring on the headset so super cool but anyways let's go on and pop onto the pc here i'm going to show you the software and while i'm doing the software i'm going to be using the mic so we can get a mic test as well and i'll be right back with you so again we're in the software you can create your profiles over here as you can see on the left side and you can adjust your rgb again that ring or the mic as you can see here we're look at one of the rings you have all these effects you can use or like myself I keep it on steady red you have some preset colors or you can pick your uh, preferred color over here or your custom color uh, again you can choose the color on the microphone over here or the effect and again you have presets or you can choose your own color for the microphone right there as well so super cool touch over here you have your uh, surround sound that you can choose uh, your profiles and again the cool thing about this software the steel series that i really like every single option on there's whether it be mouses headsets keyboards they got a little question mark next to it and it tells you exactly what each thing is going to do because some of this stuff can get kind of confusing sometimes right like side tone right why don't you just call it mic monitoring that's what every other headset calls is mic monitoring but again it'll tell you click the question market to tell you what everything is but really cool you got equalizer over here everyone's will be a little bit different uh, bass enhancement um, this mic preview over here um, as you are adjusting all of these mic uh, options here for your headset, you can click preview and then in your headset, you'll be able to hear what you sound like. So if your buddies are telling you, uh, hey man, you sound like uh, your mic sounds like trash, come into your software, click this button and you'll be able to hear exactly what you sound like. So you can let them know, hey, no man, it's your headset, not my awesome SteelSeries Arctic Pro I just got, dude. They actually give you a windscreen with these guys. So you can just flop it over there and kind of cut out some of those P's and T's and uh, so a little bit of that background. Uh, you know breeze in the back and right but the thing I don't like about the windscreen of course you can't push it all the way in secondly it, it blocks out that light right there which I really like that mute light feature because it really reminds me like when it's right here I can see it say okay I am muted you know so again I don't use the windscreen on this headset all right so now let's talk about the sound with these guys and let me tell you what wow they sounded awesome they sounded amazing on the PC and they sounded great on the PS4 so yes they did sound better on the PC but again they also sound great on the PS4 and that's across the board from your lows all the way up to your highs you feel the bass but when you feel that bass it doesn't mud out anything else not even footsteps or little tings in the background I was so shocked with these guys that it was just again like I'd be hearing a grenade and it almost like vibrate in my head almost right on the on the earphones it was crazy because it, it was hitting so hard but it was so clean that I still heard guys walking up behind me it was so weird I honestly gotta say right out the gate as crazy as it sounds this might be the best headset I have heard 
That's not saying the other ones that I've used before are garbage or saying the fives or the threes are garbage. That's not what I'm saying by any means. But yes, these did sound better. So now this is where I get into that DAC right there. These SteelSeries Arctic Pro, they do have high res speakers in them. High res, as you can see, we'll swing it around here. You got the frequency response, 10 to 40,000. Now let me get this over here. Here we go. So we have the Arctic 3 right here, right? Frequency response, and this is pretty much across with all headsets, like your average Turtle Beaches, HyperX's, of course, here's whatever, the majority. I mean, you can see it on the side of your boxes are 20 to 20,000. So what that means is the lower number is your base, right? And then when you get to the higher number, it's going to be your high end. So obviously with the lower number and these guys being 10, you're going to get that harder hit and that solid sound, but your, your highs are also going to be higher going up to that 40,000. So again, everything just mashes together really good. Again, when you go to the 20 to 20,000, it still sounds great. Like I'm not saying these Arctic 3 or the 5s are garbage by any means. They sound fantastic, really good. But again, when you get into this with this high res and everything, you really do notice the difference. It's not just a little difference, you do notice it. So again, after a lot of research, reading and watching a bunch of reviews, what I took from the DAC is kind of like, okay, if your motherboard doesn't support it, or if you want that higher frequency on the PS4, sure, then I think it would be beneficial. But again, back to me gaming 99.9% .9 of the time on PC and the frequency on my PC supports that, I figured, why do I need it? Now, please, just take that last little bit as my opinion. Again, I did not use the DAC, so, uh, but again, with all the research, and you can look up on it too and watch some reviews, again, it seems like while you're on PC, if your motherboard supports it and you can get that frequency out of it, why do you need the DAC? You really just don't need it, you know what I mean? Again, maybe we can go to the PS4. If it doesn't support up to 40,000, then maybe you'd want the DAC. So now don't forget, if you get these guys and you're on PC, make sure you go into your sounds and adjust that frequency up to that 40,000 or above, whatever you have on there. You can even check it before you buy these. You know, right click down on your speaker, go into your sounds and check what frequencies your motherboard supports. So, you know, if you're not up to the 40,000, then yeah, you're gonna wanna get that DAC, right? But again, if you're over that 40,000, I don't think you're gonna need it. So anyways, that covers the DAC, why I didn't go with the DAC. Um, so the other question, is should we go with the pros over the fives or the threes? Again, I haven't done the sevens yet, but I can speak for the fives and the threes. And should you go with the pros? And I gotta say yes. And like I've been saying through every little comparison here, that is not by any means saying the fives or the threes are garbage at all. But again, when I get into that higher end stuff, again, you're talking 140 bucks, I usually kind of cringe. I'm like, okay, what kind of fluff am I buying, right? But uh, again, I don't think you're buying fluff here. I think you're buying quality. Again, you have the metal headband here, the metal grips over there. Is that gonna do anything with that plastic side? I don't know, but it definitely feels heavy duty. You feel like you're spending your extra money on something, you know what I mean? Um, I do like the other headband, how you can adjust it just by this one up here. I do like that even as minor as that is. I mean, these things pop and that over here, that's fluff. That's complete fluff. I can do without that. You know what I mean? So obviously, yes, the build is better in these compared to the fives and threes. But honestly, the fives and threes, I think, are a little more cozy. Number one, they're lighter and they don't have as much press onto your ears right there. So I do like the comfort of the fives and threes better. But again, it's not saying these are uncomfortable. Um, I'd still pick these over them. But where these completely shine, again, is that sound hands down, whether you're on PlayStation 4 or PC, especially PC, 110%. If you're looking for comparing these for PC, go with these, no question asked. And again, check your sound before you decide to go with that DAC one, because if you support that 40,000, I think you'll be just fine and you'll get the high res out of it. But the sound on these, as far as PC, I cannot stress enough how amazing these are. Like, please, if you're looking for a headset, do not pass these up. Um, if you got the spare money for the DAC, I guess, Hey, get it and try it out, see what you think. But um, I advise you to uh, save the 40, 50 bucks, whatever it is, and get the ones without the DAC if your PC supports that 40,000. Because I'm telling you, the sound in these guys are absolutely amazing. Again, you feel the bass, you hear the bass, but when you feel and hear that bass, it does not drown anything out. It's gotta be the best sounding headset I have tested yet. Now, I forgot to mention, it does come with this little uh, cable adapter if you want to use it for mobile or say your Switch or something. But just go with the threes if you're going that way. Come on, we're not going to be buying this headset uh, to use on our phone to play some Candy Crush. Let's just get rid of that. But hey, everyone, I highly recommend you giving this headset a shot. If you're in the market for a headset, I even advise you, hey, if you need to save up your money for an extra week or two or whatever, please do it and give this headset a shot. 
Like, I highly recommend you trying this guy out. But hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. And I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.